The ancient Egyptians established one of the most amazing civilizations in history. Their rich culture and remarkable works that have stood the test of time were only possible thanks to the blessings of one of the gods that shaped the world. Today's video is sponsored by Endel. These days, it's getting increasingly hard to focus on our daily tasks. Anxiety and stress make our days less and less productive. That's the reason why today I would like to present the Endel app. Combining the latest knowledge of sound and state-of-the-art technology to help you be more productive, more relaxed, and sleep better. With new patented technology, Endel adjusts itself to the user in real time, considering factors such as location, weather, heart rate, among other information to provide a customized result for your needs. One of my favorite features is the sleeping mode, which helps the mind to calm down and achieve a deeper sleep at night. If your priority is to improve your concentration, then try focus mode and stay on task for longer. Click the link below. The first 100 people to download Endel will get a free week of audio experiences. Feel more relaxed and focused with Endel. In the beginning of everything, there was only a giant chaotic ocean called Nun and nothing else. But in these waters, a great pyramidal mound emerged. At the top of this mound was a lotus flower which, when it blossomed, unfurled a strong light that spread out and scared away the darkness. The source of all this light was Ra, the sun god. Ra was alone and begot the first generation of gods. Shu, the god of air, and Tefnut, the goddess of rain, were born. The universe was still dominated by the immense mass of primordial waters. Shu and Tefnut plunged into the waters to explore their immensity. Ra was distressed to find that his children were not returning. Fearing he would never see them again, he sent Hathor to find them. Shu and Tefnut returned safe. Ra's joy was such that the tears from his eyes gave birth to human beings. After returning, the descendants of Ra begot Geb, god of the earth, and Nut, goddess of the sky. This is how heaven and earth were created. The great god Ra ruled the universe sovereignly with the title of the first pharaoh. The god offered Egypt several sacred animals, such as the ox and the lion, but his greatest gift was the creation of the river Nile. Around its banks, man would build a civilization to please the gods. In his human form, Ra was worshipped by the Egyptians as god and pharaoh. But as he grew older and his glory faded, men began to worship the serpent Apophis, which angered Ra. Ra ordered the lioness god Sekhmet to organize a great slaughter to punish the men. Many of those who survived Sekhmet's attack drowned in the flood of blood that followed. Ra's earthly reign seemed to be nearing its end, and he retired to his solar boat. In it, the god traversed the skies during the day. But during the night, he would enter the underworld, the realm of the dead. In the underworld, he faced the serpent Apophis. Each sunrise meant a new victory for the god over darkness. The gods Nut and Geb gave birth to a powerful offspring, Isis, Nephthys, Seth, and Osiris. They would take over the government of the world while Ra reigned in the heavens. Osiris went on to reign over the world, occupying the throne that was formerly Ra's, leading humanity to civilization. But the throne of the new god was not secure, for his brother Seth wanted to take all the power for himself. This was the beginning of the saga of the gods of Egypt. 